Play dice. <laughs> so, we are back for River of Terry Cell. Thanks for everybody who tuned in last night and checked out our little one shot. Um, and my Tales from Cyril yesterday. It's a D&D weekend. Um, so this is going to be the last week and we do like a spooky one shot every Saturday. So, going forward we'll probably still do one shots, but schedule TBD. <laughs> um, and for anybody who hasn't tuned in since, we've officially reached affiliate level. Yay! Um, so you can actually you can subscribe using Amazon Prime, which is pretty cool. And if you do, you get access to a special little emote that's of a cute little kitty cat. Um. <laughs> because we cat. Zero, because we um, have zero chill. Yeah, pretty much. Also, we fucking know our brand. <laughs> our brand is cats and dice, basically. Um, so we only have a couple of announcements for this week. Um, so Wednesday, we're not doing DM chats. We'll actually be playing Murder Trivia Party. Trivia Murder Party. Trivia yeah. Murder yeah. Party. Trivia Murder Party, those words and that some order. Um, which is an Xbox <coughs> game, so it's not going to be a role-playing game, but it's something that um, the audience can actually join in on, so you guys will be able to vote on it, on and participate and play along with us, so it should be fun. We might play some other Jackbox games as well, um, depending. It's probably only going to be for an hour or so, and maybe we'll actually get trick-or-treaters this year, which would be really exciting, because um, we don't usually get them, and it's sad. Because we all love Halloween. Um, yeah, so that should be fun. And it's going to be at the same time, so starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we'll probably just go for an hour or so, depending on how much fun we're having. Maybe we'll go forever. <laughs> we are not going forever. Some of us have to go to work tomorrow. Oh, I the think all day. of us have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> None of us are independently wealthy. Um, and then this coming Saturday is Extra Life, which is a charity event where um, people all over the world are going to be streaming games and raising money for children's health care across the world. So we're raising money for Atlanta, um, Atlanta Children's, because that's where we're based, is Atlanta. Um, I think we're probably going to start 10 a.m.-ish. Um, and we are going to be doing a spooky one shot whose name I have forgotten again. Uh, like. Something shadows, about shadows. shadows over Ravenwood, maybe. <coughs> um, it's a spooky-ish one-shot that's a like a monster hunting kind of <coughs> crafty and inspired thing, and it's a long one-shot. Um, so the the time that it suggests is between eight to sixteen hours. So we're gonna play the whole the entirety of that one-shot. Um, so I don't know when we'll end. Um, it'll depend. They, for, for the record, yeah. they are going to be playing the one shot. Oh, yeah. you're not going to come and join well, us. Apparently, there's a big magic thing going on that weekend. So we GP might Atlanta. Have, if you know, see my face, we, uh, come say probably hi. Probably won't have Brian either. Well, then who else is going to be playing with us? So that's a question. That's a very that's a that's a damn good question, Carolyn. A damn fine <laughs> question. So we'll figure that out. Um, I'm sure we can find somebody to come play. Come play with us. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do not invite the internet no, into the your in home. Internet, you can't come play with us because we play at at a private place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, brown, no, brown, brown, brown chicken, brown cow, and just for anybody who missed it last night, I got my real heat room. Um, cause I'm a little chilly this morning, though. I'm sure, like in the next like ten minutes, I'm gonna be dying of heat because that's this thing is just solid fleece. Um, so it's a heat machine. Brown chicken, brown cow. Yeah, we're off to a great, great start this morning. Um, <laughs> And then we'll be back next Sunday for episode 15 of River Cherry Cell. Um, so yeah, we are uh, we're kicking off. So I'll give a quick recap of last episode, and then we'll uh, jump aboard. Um, so in the last episode, um, our heroes dealt with the aftermath of poor Fox being burned badly by the Heart Crystal um, and trying to figure out what happened, what to do, how to fix it. They briefly got to be in charge of the ship, and it went fairly well. No one died. Um, they plowed through a diving belt, spider nesting zone, um, and killed a bunch of baby spiders and swarms of spiders. Um, spiders. And then they arrived to Bay Hill rather unexpectedly as they slammed into the rocks by the shore, yep, and yep, uh, yep. the ship is kind of um, not in saleable condition at the moment. However, they were uh, they made contact with Uzzig, the uh, lighthouse keeper, and um, Fox's orc friend who is currently, um, has them in a rowboat heading toward Bay Hill. Um, and that's where we'll pick back up as you guys are basically coasting on back to the shore with everybody aboard, with Uzzig rowing and uh, making pretty impressive, impressive speed. And I believe Badger was a shark and pushing the back of the boat and helping. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you guys do that. I gotta go grab my phone so that I have the thing. I gotta need my calculator. Yeah, you guys can't talk 
yourself. That's never a good sign. When the DM needs to do maths. <laughs> it's a ah, I'm a shark. Badger shark 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 shark badger 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 <laughs> Twitch just decided I needed to watch these other people, so. Hi, huh. other people. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so that's where we are picking up. You guys are heading to the uh, shore. You're just about there, so if there's anything you want to do before you get to shore, now's the time. If not, you guys are just gonna gently coast to shore. Azig. Mm-hmm. Yeah? I have a question. I'm sure you do. Um, about the light that was stolen. Mm-hmm. How? Like, how does one take the light? Like, is it, like, fire? Or is it, like, something else? No, it's something else. A, uh... It's always been called the eye. Um... I don't know. It's some magic bullshit. I don't mess with it. But... And I don't entirely know exactly how it got stolen. I didn't really get to witness the whole thing. So you just, like, woke up one morning or evening and it was just gone? No, that <sighs> we'll talk when we get on land. Right, I'll expect this. Um, so yeah, you guys continue on and coast your ways to shore. And the island's pretty cool. There's a nice breeze. There's um, you did no- you do notice that this sort of gray, heavy fog kind of obscures everything. It just kind of hangs around this area. Um, even as you're on shore, you can kind of see fairly well. You can mostly see shapes, not too many details. Um, but you can make out the um, the shape of the lighthouse. It looks slightly lopsided. Um, and you're not sure if that's normal or abnormal or a new development. You don't really know. And uh, Azek, why is your lighthouse leaning? Azek is just walking. <laughs> Azek, that's not answering my question about why your lighthouse is leaning. <clears throat> Maybe give the man some space. No. Says Badger, who is now wiggling and drying off. <laughs> I just want to imagine the shark just blah, 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 trying to dry off. But I imagine you are just not a shark. <laughs> yep. Flop, 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 flop. Get the man's face. It's a word. <laughs> I imagine it's you turn back into yourself in the water and then proceed to walk out. So now you're just like, eh, now I'm wet. <laughs> now I'm wet and gross and I hate it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so as I, as I walk, some fox is kind of like, Come on, he's probably uh, cranky. Um, and you guys have Muriel with you as well, though Uzzig is currently carrying her. So Uzzig and Muriel are uh, walking mm-hmm. off. All right, well, let's go, Falling I suppose. Behind. So you head into, like, a... It's more of a hut than a house. Mm-hmm. Um, very homemade. There's... Um, uh, no, Uzzig is currently stoking a fire. He's got Muriel situated and is seems to be making, like, tea or grog or something. You're not really sure what he's doing, but he is making a warm beverage. Detect magic. Okay. Because I can. Actually, I don't know why I'm rolling. I don't need to roll anything. Detect magic. There's nothing magical immediately around you. I was like, darling, why is your lighthouse leaning? You didn't answer my question. Is it always like that? No. Oh, okay. A few nights ago, this lady showed up. I had to see a boat, but she showed up. She didn't really want to talk a lot. I think she said her name is Anna something. Anna Bell. Anna Lee. Anna Lee. Anna maybe. Dragonborn? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Silvery lady. So she's real just... friendly. Okay. So what happened? Well, she, you know, she came in and got something to eat. And I try to be friendly to visitors, but I don't like visitors. Um. And she asked about the lighthouse and just sort of generally wanted to know about the area. And then uh, she went on her way and I went to bed. Um, and the next morning your, your light was gone. I woke up and there was, there was some kind of fight, something happening. So I went over to the lighthouse and that was when uh, the, the left side of it basically collapsed in on top of me. I was stuck under there for about a day before I got out. 
And when I got out, the light was gone. I wonder if Annalise stole this light. Tin I said, wonder. Tin Gold says she did, bitch. No taking that bet. <laughs> <clears throat> but go be a freeloader somewhere else. Anyways. I am not a freeloader. Anyways. <clears throat> I pull my part and occasionally I push your part too. Anyways. As it brings over a uh, like a pot of a sort of stew-ish thing. It smells decent. You're not, it doesn't look very appetizing, but Badger eats it. Yeah. Ophelia will close her eyes and eat it. <laughs> it tastes fine. It's like uh, the meat. The meat in it is very chewy. Mm. Um, so it's better? a little bit just like yum 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 yum. Probably yum. overcooked or it's just tough. <laughs> yeah. Probably not choice cuts. Um, you won't like the probably can't get choice cuts. But yeah, Uzzig is sort of just sitting there, and you can tell he's really he's pretty. I don't. Know, yeah, he's not happy. Um, just from his expression on his face, you gather that. You're not sure what or why, but uh, he's definitely not in a good mood. Alright. What did she ask about, generally, in the area? She wanted to know how the lighthouse worked. She wanted to know what was around here. Told her, really, the only other city is Ambrose, but she didn't seem like that kind of lady. Uh, Really? What's Ambrose? I mean, it's like, ask Fox, he goes there. The fox is just like, thank you, that. <laughs> so Ambrose is, um, oh, let's just say it's a place where people go to forget. It's the party city. It's, you know, brothels and booze and music and all the things that you don't find anywhere else in this miserable little town. So hookers and blow? Something like that, yes. All right, then. What, well, isn't, like, blow all of much. your gold? I'm sorry, what was your question? Blow what? Like, blow all your gold? That's a new term that I haven't heard before. I'll explain it to you when you're older. When your teeth have come in. Okay, yeah, Fox, Fox sort of glares at us again. Like, don't go that much. You just don't ever go anywhere, so don't. No. Uh, can I do an inside check on Ozzy? Mm-hmm. Internet. Get a second, a second Kigurumi show. Boop. And my PJ pants, aren't they cute? Please. Um, twelve <laughs> inside check. <laughs> okay. Uh, what exactly? Like, what are you? I'm just trying to see if like he's mad about like the lighthouse. Like, if talking about the lighthouse is making him <laughs> mad, um, or is it like that. specifically like <laughs> Anna Lee or what? Um. So you get the sense that he's just kind of pretty pissed off that his lighthouse is messed up. Um, mm -hmm. And that he wasn't able to do anything to stop it. Mm -hmm. um, you get the sense that he's pretty he's pretty annoyed and almost embarrassed um, and ashamed that he wasn't able to actually do anything to stop whatever happened in the lighthouse. Um, so yeah, you kind of get the sense that he's he is ashamed and that's making him angry. How's it going? What? Look, whatever happened at your lighthouse. You were very brave, and I'm very proud of you, despite the fact that you don't know me, and I don't know you, but I'm very proud of you for at least keeping it together. Yeah, I'm deeply touched by your words, stranger. You're welcome. Um, Anna Lee is a notorious bitch, um, and whatever she took from your lighthouse, I feel like she's trying to do... It's part of this ritual, whatever bullshit she did to destroy all the hometown. Short version, we need to find her, we need to stop her before she literally dissolves everyone into goo. Yeah, how did she get here before we did? I'm I assume also teleportation. Wondering. Probably, because that was her circle in the... Right. Fucking magic. Right there with you, buddy. Zeke pulls out his flask, slides it over to him. <laughs> he takes a long drink and gives it back. It's like half empty now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know much more. I I could hear people going through the lighthouse. It was more than one person's footsteps, though. 
have accomplices? Well, she did have, was able to kind of, the, all of the town guard. Yeah. They were all Goliath and Dragonborn, aren't they? I don't know. They were large, yes. But I think that has more to do with, like, her familiarity. She probably was able to do some wuju to make them obey or something, something. she was here, so there wasn't anybody else with her, so. When she came, what was she dressed like? I don't know. Robe? Was it white? Um, it was kind of like, I don't know, it looked like she had rolled around in a tar pit or something. It was kind of like ugly stained. Somehow she managed to avoid being melted. Well, because she was the one that was causing the melting, so yes, that would make sense. All right, next time I see her, can I really kick her in the kneecaps? I mean, if you can get close enough, yes. Be more guests. I'd go one step further. <coughs> just full on chalet those caps. I will. I mean, that's the only way I can ever actually get any <laughs> kneecaps. Because, I mean... Or, you know, turn into a bear and eat them. She's mm. tall, but she's not that tall. <laughs> I like that plan. Yeah, I've just... I've been trying to repair the lighthouse, and then uh, now I guess I'm going to be helping repair a boat. Thank you. We appreciate it. Very much so. And we'd like to get out of your hair for at least a little bit. Um, can you point to... Do you mind if we go up and take a look at your lighthouse? Yeah, I mean, be careful. It's a mess over there still. I did... I found something when it collapsed. There's a... I don't know, there's an old door down at the bottom of it. I guess it had been paved over. I was starting to open it when you guys sort of... Um, Crashed ashore. Yeah. Oh, Let's right. go with that. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, there was a the person who built this whole thing, uh, what was her name? Daisy. Stupid name. Daisy built this place, uh, and then she just, like, up and vanished one day, so. It might be her lab, might have something to do with all of this. I don't know. It's magic bullshit, and I'm not touching it. Well. We've got a couple courses of actions, I guess, while this gentleman so graciously fixes Fox's boat. Uh, we can go after Annalise. Well, we can't really go after her because we don't know where she's gone. Let's start with the lab. It might have more information. I think right. the lighthouse is our best course of action at the moment. I really just want to turn into a bear and eat her. When we find her, put that on the list. So, yes, in the morning, once we have light, I'm assuming it's... Yeah, it's, it's getting dark. Let's, let's investigate that first thing. I've got All some right. piles of hay. That'll work. sleep in. Works for me. Okay. At least there won't be boxes that can fall on me. <laughs> yeah, as it sort of shows you to a... Uh, like a corner of his hut that's just like a big pile of hay, essentially. Yeah. And he kind of finds a spot and just lays down in it. Mm -hmm. um, Fox sits at one of the chairs <laughs> and tries to get comfortable there. Badger goes up against the wall and goes under the hay. <laughs> uh, Zeke tries to make sure Muriel is comfortable and however that works for her. Yeah, you're able to get her into a, a good spot where you don't think anyone's going to roll over mm -hmm. she's she's in a cozy spot okay Let's see find a spot uh, before I go to bed um, I'm gonna try and reach out to my patron okay outside what are you saying I don't know how this works hello it's Ophelia again Hi. Um, Are you there, patron? It's me, Margaret. <laughs> I was thinking it. Um, any assistance you can give us in finding Anna Lee would be very helpful. Um, or even just, you know, a little hint that we're on the right path to go beat the shit out of Anna Lee. That'd be very helpful. Anyways, lots of love and kisses, Ophelia. Thank you. And then she'll come back and find me. Okay. Find another, find a spot of somewhere and lay down. 
So yeah, as you are snuggling into the, the hay, you're kind of um, surprised as you lay down and you, um, beneath the hay where you've laid, you actually find a, uh, a small wolf pelt. Hello, cuteness. Why do you all, you only want to do this when I'm in the middle of DMing? Yeah, remember how well that went last time? You little cat. But yeah, as you're, as you're snuggling in, um, you find a little, a little wolf pelt. Um... I guess I'll drape it over me. Okay, that's cozy. Mm. And it's comforting to you. Mm. Lay down or get out. Get out. Mm. You were hoping for her to get out. You know that's not going to be an option for her. Alright. <laughs> Awkwardly goes here. Okay. And again, during the night, you guys see no dreams. Nothing but solid blackness and red eyes staring at you. Um, and it's sort of like a... It's like someone is trying to speak to you, but it's underwater, so you can't really understand what they're saying, but you can hear the voice of who you remember as Heliodora. It's definitely that voice, um, but whatever she's saying is muffled and distorted to the point that you can't understand her. Tell me about Annalie. Whenever you can hear me again, I don't fucking care. Um, yeah. If, if she responds, you can't understand what she's saying. Whenever you want to manifest yourself again physically in front of us, you tell me about Anna Lee. I'm going to ask this every time I fucking see you. Are you two yelling anything at God? Nope. <laughs> Yells at God angrily. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep, damn it. <laughs> Stop staring at me. It's uh, creepy. Alright. So, um, the morning comes and... <laughs> is offended and very threateningly pierces my my leg with her claws before leaving. <laughs> I could make you bleed. I'm choosing not to. Okay, yeah, no. So, um, Uzzit gets up and, um, in his attempt to be quiet, he's actually somehow louder than he should be. Um, so he's like, tiptoe, tiptoe, trying to be very careful through the hay, but it's Incredibly loud. Mm. Um. It's fine, I didn't need to sleep that long. <laughs> and Fox is startled enough that he kicks awake, flaps out of the chair, and thuds to the ground. Ah! Thud! Okay. As amusing as that was, I'm going to help Fox up. <laughs> um, so yeah, Fox sort of is just like, what, 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 what? Good morning. Hi. Come stand up. Oh, I hate chairs. Don't Zeke. worry, chairs hate everyone. That's why yeah, they're Zeke gets up as well. Badger, like, sits up from the hay, and there's just, like, hay all up in her hair, and she's like, what is happening? Yeah, and Muriel is kind of sitting up and rubbing her eye. And she's like, what? What? What time is it? <laughs> Early enough. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine, Isaac. It's fine. You're not used to visitors. It's all right. I have stew. <sighs> Fox is like, I'm going to just go outside and find a flat surface to make something that's not stew. <laughs> <laughs> and he sort of casually, um, but very not casual at all. Walks out of the hut. Ozzy, Ozzy, darling, before we leave today, do you need any assistance with anything? Oh, no. Picking hay out of my hair. No. Uh, Zeke leans out uh, the door to Fox. It's like, a uh, small request: some honey and some lemons. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah, Fox finds like a, a large old tree and um, summons a meal. That's, it has it has a plethora of honey and lemons as well as pastries and like a, a little bit of actual food. It's mostly pastries today. <laughs> Yo, yeah, darling, what would you like to eat this morning? Oh, just whatever that thing stew is. It's fine. Okay. I oh. could cast Goodberry. That's cool. a 
it's up to you, Muriel, if you would like to eat a berry. It will sustain you for the entire day. Yep. Uh, it, it just seems rude to not you accept welcome. hospitality. Zeke retrieves the, um, the honey and the lemon, uh, asks Ozzy if he has some like tea or anything along those lines. Yeah, he sort of grunts and points you in a direction where he's okay. got, um, he's, he doesn't have any tea made, but he's got kettles and, yeah. and herbs. So, after a little bit, just like, you hear Zeke pouring things after the tea is brewed. It's like, okay, four of strong, three of weak, two of sour, one of sweet. Here we go, grog all around. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um, I will, Ophelia will grab herself and Muriel a bowl. Uh, and uh, help Muriel if she needs any help getting that. Yeah, yeah no, Muriel can eat. Okay, um, it's it's lukewarm this morning, which makes it significantly um, less pleasant to eat than it was the evening before. Um, but Muriel is powering through and just sort of like, mmm. Thank you. <laughs> Can I try, like, a little small arcane trick to sort of, like, heat up the bowl of something? I don't have, like... If you have prestidigitation, that should yeah. work to warm it. I don't. Uh, can I just uh, create a fire? Does he have, like, a, a... He has a fireplace. I mean, I would assume that in order to brew tea that the fire would have yeah. already been... Uh, yeah, going. so you've got... So basically, it was the, the stew was hanging out overnight mm. over the fireplace, but the fire's pretty much died down by the morning. So now you've got it stoked again to have brewed tea. So there is a fire. I'll just swing it back into the fire and let it heat up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so and Ophelia seating. will try and heat up her. <laughs> Ophelia will be like, Muriel, it's fine. Let me just heat it up for you. <laughs> it will be okay. Yeah. yeah. Hot food is a little. In this, in this instance, hot stew is a lot better than cold stew. At this point, you know, this is probably about the time that grog actually makes its way into cups that is passed around. <laughs> So there are the lovely, lovely cups of grog about. Um, Uzzig is like, is, it's the most animated you've seen him. <laughs> He's like, oh, this is good! Ah! He's a full orc, isn't he? Hmm. It'd be very interesting to get a full orc drunk. How much would it take? Please don't. Uh, <laughs> probably a whole still's worth. We don't have that much time. Nope. Mm-mm. So after I'll watch the stew once it gets warmed, I'll pass it back out to everybody who's gonna eat it. Yeah, it's it's better warm. Um, still probably not anything you'd ever order again willingly. Nope. Um, but <laughs> acceptable. Badger doesn't care. Yeah. Badger don't give two shits. Yeah. <laughs> and Fox has succeeded in making himself sick on pastry, so good job, Fox. <laughs> um, so this, if you glance out the window, you see Fox sort of just laying on the ground, rubbing his stomach. Um, a large portion of the pastries are missing now. Yeah. Zeke will eventually go out and just, like, place the cup of grog next to him. Thank you. Uh-huh. When you come back in, Ophelia's going to ask, is he dead? No. No. Just halfway there. Sugar crash. Hmm. This will be interesting. Uh. Oh. I'm going to hold up the small wolf belt that I had mm-hmm. uh, from last night. I'd be like, Ozzy, darling, do you know where this came from? Not oh, mine. There's no wolves around here. Excellent. And uh, she's going to wrap it around herself. Mm-hmm. Well, first she's going to take it outside, yeah. shake up the hay off of it, <laughs> and then wrap it around her shoulders. It reminds you of the pelt that you dreamt of. Mm. Um, it, almost has a, it almost has a smell that reminds you of home, even though you can't quite place it. It's familiar and safe, and that's all that matters. And so as you all are eating, um, Muriel finishes her stew. If it's not too much bother, I'd like to at least come near the lighthouse with you all. Daisy and I were friends a long time ago, and I'd like to know what happened to her. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm forgetting, did we bring the wheelchair with Yeah, us? you guys brought that with you. Um, how smooth is the pathway <coughs> leading up to the lighthouse? The pathway leading up to the lighthouse is okay. Once you start getting, um... From the fog is a little bit lighter this morning, and you can see the part why it was leaning is that it's basically like one side of it has sort of caved in. Um, so once you actually get up there, you're not quite sure how that's going to work, but you you can get her up to the lighthouse easily, and she can probably actually wheel herself. 
Okay. <coughs> up there. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Daisy was a brilliant wizard. Just brilliant. And she decided to come to Bay Hill, and I went to Ashbury, and we just lost touch over time, I guess. What made you decide to come to... What made you guys split up like that? Oh, well, we just wanted to go to different parts of the world and see if we could gather different information, and we always planned to confer back, and things just got in the way, and then I couldn't get a hold of her anymore. But I'm curious, where did you originally start out? Well, we all were in Ashbury originally, and then over time, Daisy felt like she'd seen everything Ashbury had to offer, and uh, decided to move on. I always assumed that she died and would be back through any day, but it never happened. And I asked, I asked Ivy about it too, and Daisy never came through. Speaking of um, things, um, just reminded me, you saying people dying and never coming back. Um, could you look through those piles of papers that we maybe that we brought back from um, old Ashbury? Yeah. And see if you can infer anything. There was a book in there. I think it was a book we also took from Annalise's office as well. Um, sure. Anything that could be helpful, I'm happy to take a look through. Um, one of the books had a list of like people and names and or it was like a page devoted to the person with like their information on it and how mm -hmm. they the number of deaths and number of times they've come back and then there was this page specifically devoted to us hmm interesting yeah i'd be i'd be happy to look over all of that but uh but yeah if we can just find out what happened to daisy that would be at least something We'll be more than happy to. But yeah, she was brilliant. I'm not surprised she, if anyone could devise a light source that doesn't go out, it would be Daisy. Well, shall we? I hope so, John. Okay. So Mario gets herself situated in her in her chair and follows along with you guys. Um, as you head out, you see Fox still laying on the ground. Are you dead yet? No, not yet. Okay. Go up to the lighthouse. You coming? I am not moving from this spot. Fair enough. You've got at least four hours. Do you think something will eat you between now and then? Yeah, as it will drag me in at some point. Oh, excellent. Uh, okay, from the we... house, you hear us like, I will not. I was like, if you could just make sure he doesn't get eaten by something, or at least eaten all the way, that'd be great. Ugh. I'll teach you my grog recipe. Fine. <laughs> You love me, Ozzig! Ozzig just, <laughs> uh, So yeah, as you guys head up the path, the pathway itself is fairly, um, it's obviously been well kept um, over the years. You can see where, like, um, the brush has been kept out of the way, bushes aren't overgrown, it's very clear. Stones have, you can see where some stones on the path have been replaced recently to keep it um, well maintained. Whoever, whoever's been managing this has done a good job with it um so it wasn't yeah yeah as far as yeah as far as you've been able to see there's no sign that anybody else lives around here at all mm -hmm. um and you're beginning to suspect that bay hill is literally just Uzzig's hut um and not an actual city mm -hmm. um but yes yeah, so as you as you walk up you find your way up to a um it's an old and what you imagine was probably once a very regal lighthouse um but with it so it's basically like a carved portion of it has fallen out. Um, so there's just a pile of debris. And you can see where, um, you see exactly where Uzzig was probably talking about. It's very, very apparent. Um, there's a big orc-sized hole in the rubble um, that you can you can make out. And there's, you know, there's a little bit of dried blood and everything around it as well. Detect matter. Okay. Um, you kind of t detect a very, very faint residual magic that reminds you very much of the heart crystal. Hmm. But okay. it, is, it is fading. It is no longer present here. Okay. Um, but other than that, you don't really detect much magic here. Mm. Okay. That would have been great last night. I know, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, 
But yeah, so you can you can see what Uzzig was talking about with the lighthouse and where it was destroyed. Um, but you're not quite at just a cursory glance. You're not quite sure what happened, what he was, what what he might have heard, any of that. Um, perception check. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm also going to try and look for the hey, aforementioned. Uh, Fifteen. Okay, what exactly are you looking for? Um, uh, fuck it, the door. <laughs> Trying to find the door. Okay. Thirteen. Okay, so yeah, between the two of you, um, you sort of look down and peer into the orc-sized hole, mm-hmm. and um, beneath, it looks like he was buried under probably like several hundred pounds of stone from the lighthouse, um, and you can see where it shifted and left this crevice where he was. You can see just the edges of a um, a door that's flat into the ground. It's like a trap door. Yeah. From where we're standing, could we potentially go down there and open the door, or is it still like care- covered with? You could get down there and open it. Um, it's a little precarious because it's basically you're having to kind of shimmy under rocks, but you can see it. It looks pretty stable. Um, so he like tries to, like when you say that it's shimmy under rocks, are we talking like? a couple feet of rock above this in yeah. like a thing? Or it is almost, it something that we could just move to open up You can up move some of them to open it up and to be a little bit wider. It's mm-hmm. basically so it's basically almost like a cave. Okay. And then the front section has been mostly cleared away as Uzzig mm-hmm. made his way out. And the door itself is closer to the back of this cave. Um, so you can still access it, but it's not... It's, it's a tight shimmy to get in. Right. For you all, it's fine because Uzzig is significantly larger than you all and... Mm-hmm. He made his way through, so you'll fit pretty easily. Yeah. Um, but you will have to sort of shimmy into this little cave, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Zeke will try and, like, clear it out as much as he can before okay. going down that way. Just to, and or, like, shoring up the walls to make sure okay. that they don't come in. Yeah. Just make a general, like, wisdom check to actually, like, be wise enough about what you're doing to not make it worse. <laughs> yeah, uh, 13. Okay, yeah, so you find, um, you find a couple of, uh, stones that you shift around and adjust, and you're, you've made the pathway a little bit easier to get to, mm-hmm. and you also are a lot more confident that it's not going to cave in on top of you and leave you trapped under that trap door. Okay. How's Muriel doing? She's fine, she's rolling up behind you guys at this point. Well, I guess this is as far as I go, for right now at least. At least for the moment. Let's... Shall we? I mean, there's nowhere else to go, so let's. Yeah. I mean, I can maybe dig it out a little bit deeper so that she could get through. Let's well, make sure that, you know, it's not certain death on the other side of the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First of all, let's do that. Fair enough. Okay. So yeah, you guys, um... Shimmy in. It's a little bit claustrophobic. I um, mean, you have to go one at a time, but it's not too, too bad. You do have room to like breathe and turn around and all of that stuff, because mm. um, orc, orc shaped hole. <laughs> um, is the door to this trap door locked? Um, you aren't sure. You aren't sure. Just like coming up on it, are you actually like? I'm gonna fucking try it. Yes. Okay. So um, you don't know if it's locked or if it's just like stuck from having hundreds of pounds of rocks dropped on it, um, but it doesn't. It doesn't open when you just give it a tug. Zeke. Yep. Punch it. Oh, open it. One or the other. <clears throat> you have a lot more strength than I do. Why do you think monks are strong? Yeah. I have a plus zero to my strength check. You want to know what my plus two strength is? The exact same. Zeke will check <laughs> to see if there's a Y'all can do a toss a up on it, and I'm just going to sit here and watch. Uh, Zeke will check and actually try and inspect and see if there's a lock or anything. Um, you don't see a... Well, we're all on investigation. Okay. <clears throat> all right, I like that number. Yay, good <laughs> numbers. Uh, Yay, good numbers! Uh, 18. Okay, so you don't see anything that looks like a lock. It does look like it probably, either over time or from the collapse of rocks on top of it, that it's kind of jammed, mm-hmm. um, but you do think you probably, rather than forcing it, you do think you could probably use lock picking tools to help basically get it stuck, unstuck from the jam, okay. or you think you could 
maybe if you all got a really good handle on it and gave it a good yank, you could yeah. get it open, but okay. there's no visible lock. I pull okay. out my quarter staff and we use this as a lever. One, let me, let me see if I can just get it unstuck first. Okay. Uh, okay, that's good. Um... Nineteen. Okay. Yeah, so you it takes you a little bit of time as you basically take your lockpick and sort of go around the door and help to get it unstuck from where mm-hmm. it is. But you manage to it takes you two or three times of going around it to do this before you finally um you finally have unjammed it enough mm-hmm. that you can open it. It's still a little bit like yeep, but you get it. Yeah. How'd that go again? Yeep. <laughs> yeet. Yeet motherfuckers, let's go. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you open it. As soon as you open it, you're greeted by just the smell of stale air. Mm-hmm. Um, like it's it's very clear, very quickly that no one has been down here in a long time. Okay. Oh, this is a lovely sign. Who wants to go first? Uh, Zeke will take out his uh, magic torch uh, and descend. Okay. So yeah, the stairwell is, um, it's completely dark. It looks like there, there are torches along the side of it, but they are all out or burnt out, um, and they haven't been touched. There's just, there's dust and cobwebs everywhere. Detect magic. Uh, yeah. First of all, yes, detect magic, and second of all, I want to finger gun them all back on if I can. You try and finger gun them and nothing happens. Well, damn. All right, it might be magic. normal. <laughs> <laughs> How dare these? How dare these torches be? I imagine oh, it's torches. somebody, like, who's used to clap on lights, just... Did you not hit me the first time? <laughs> you clapped like a moron. Yep. Clap on. <laughs> Clap on. Basically is what is or what somebody walks behind and goes, click. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn them on, baby. <laughs> There's a light switch. What? Electricity. Uh, um. <laughs> anyway, Anyways, yes. But yeah, none of the none of the torches um, respond to you. Well, this is dumb. Uh, anyways, detect magic. Um, really, you can't detect much. Um, you're, you're in a fairly narrow, like, um, curving stairwell, and it appears you that there's... You and the curving stairwells, man. I love them. Um, and then after... Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Um, the best way to go down in a small yeah, area. Yeah, in a small space, that's the best way to get down. Um, but, um, so basically the only thing you can detect is the immediate... Ch- channel where the stairway is Mm -hmm. um and there's nothing in the stairway that is that is pinging your interest that's why it lasts for 10 minutes let's get moving okay so yeah it's not actually too too far down your arm's still sore the bump at the injection site which is Mm -hmm. odd and weird Mm -hmm. um but yeah so eventually you do come to a a simple a simple little door um it does it looks it kind of, um, after you figured out the other door, you notice that it's kind of similar. It looks like whatever has happened either over time or from this collapse has shifted the frame slightly, so the door is a little bit, mm-hmm. you can see where it's similarly stuck. Okay. How thick is this door? Um, it's pretty thick. Is it three feet of wood thick? It is not. Cool. There's definitely, there is, um, I said magic earlier. Hmm. There's like a evocation magic maybe through the door. Okay. Um, and maybe something that is like a disguise magic. Okay. Whatever. Illusion. Illu- that's the word I was thinking. Um, uh, yes, in an illusiony magic. Um, the evocation magic is sort of broken. Mm-hmm. Um, it's old. It's old and it's fraying. Um, so whatever is, is down there is still magical, but you doubt that it has the same properties that it should. Okay. So this is door. Does it swing inward or does it swing outward? Um, it swings into the room, so not into the hallway. You you so are pushing us, it. It, yeah. it is away from you all. You want me to bash it in? I, I will try and unstick it first. Even better. All right, so yeah, you um, you unstick it. If you would like to still hit it with your staff, you can. But um, yeah, shillelagh. <laughs> it's like it's unstuck. Wham! 
It's, it's open. Yeah, now it's, it's open. extra so hard So basically, stuff. you you very carefully go around and you're un you're undoing all of it and helping adjust it and you're about to go and open it and suddenly you just you hear the sound of this staff and you're like whoa, just boom, whoosh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you're like okay, I think I got whoa. <laughs> like coming in with the butt end of it and hitting yeah. it. I'm assuming that the door just swings. Yeah, open the door sort one. of is just like whoom. Um, and slams open. You may have actually heard its hinges at this point. Um, it's a very old, very sad door. Oh. <laughs> that was far less unstuck. Than, far less stuck than I anticipated it being. <clears throat> Good to know we never ever use, need to open or close this door ever again. Cool. cool. Um, I'm picturing it like the top hinge on it is... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just it's just, yeah, that door is probably not going to close again. You're guessing? <laughs> he does not try hard enough. Okay. Uh, so yeah, as you as you head into this um, space, it's still pretty dark. So who has dark vision? And you have the he's, light. You have a torch. He's a okay. So as you walk in, you see um, it looks like it's probably was a lab at some point. There are bookcases everywhere. There are a bunch of tables um, with flasks in them. Um, most of the liquids are congealed and rotting, and you probably don't want to uncork them at any point. <laughs> um, they're just, they're really gross, disturbing looking liquids, um, and that's what's pinging your evocation sense, is these, these liquids, which are still potent, but definitely not to do what they were meant to do. Alright, now just, everyone, take note, do not drink these liquids. What about throwing them at people? Don't touch them. <laughs> I mean, if you would like to drink it and find out what it is, that'd be great. I didn't want to drink it. I was just going to chuck it at somebody. Who are you going to Who are you going to Annalise? Never mind. <laughs> I'm walking away from her, and I'm going... What's in the room? Like, aside from the tables and the bookshelves and all that fun stuff, it's, can we garner anything special? And roll an investigation. Yeah. Oh, that's awful. It was at a 19 and then it rolled to a 3. Okay. For a to grand total of uh, no, 6. No, 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 Okay. I think Zeke is going to just kind of check the room for like hidden doors. Okay. That sort of thing. Trick. 17? Okay, um, you notice that in one of the back corners that you do see, it's not exactly a hidden door, it's kind of a slightly obscured. But you notice like a, a smaller door, um, maybe a closet, maybe mm -hmm. another hallway. You're not really sure, um, but you do notice another door um, kind of around the corner from where you guys are walking in the room. Okay. Um, the space is bigger than you would have originally anticipated when you first walked in. Right. Um, it's a good size. It's a good size lab, and it looks like in its prime, it was probably a very impressive space. Um, but everything is covered in dust and cobwebs, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna take twenty and start going through uh, some of the books and the research that I can find. Okay. Zeke is going to crack open the door, assuming it's not locked or stuck. Okay, so. What but bookcase are you going the for? Uh, the first one closest to me. Okay. Okay. Um, so as you go and you reach for a book to start looking through it, mm -hmm. um, all of a sudden, there is this gust of wind, and papers from all over the lab start flying all around you. And slowly, these papers begin folding and flipping and twisting themselves into a... what looks very much... She says, hunting around to try and find her figure. Like... A dragon. Um. For no. fuck's sake, it's made out of paper. I don't want to burn it. Well. When you say dragon, how big of a dragon are we talking? It's big. Um, I mean, it, te it technically counts as a large, large. creature. Yeah. Bloop. Oh, joy. Alright, so everyone roll me initiative. 
Well, fuck. Don't touch anything, she said. What should you touch it? <laughs> I said don't drink anything! <laughs> oh, I love you guys. If you will hit the light, says I uh, for the baby. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to come up with a bagger for you one day, mother. If you guys want to place yourselves <laughs> right in front of the dragon. Person. I mean, basically, I mean you are because you're you were at the bookcase. Um, and you were my, scooching. Where's my mini? I don't. Oh right. Mm. That's a great question, isn't it? He's in a safe box. <laughs> If you would like to borrow Asa for the afternoon. Maybe. I guess I could use the only other mini I've got, which is Nam's down. Is this your... Here we go. There's my little badger figure. I found one that'll work if... Yeah, let's go with that, because I'm not sure where the other... It's probably we'll just use the big badger. Boxes. Badger. Who's Until the I turn into a badger. So, where was the doorway that you were mentioning? Um, like, right by that pillar. Oh, the the hidden doorway? Yes. It's over here. Okay, so that would put me there. Yep, because that's where you were headed. Should be next to one of the tables. I'd probably just be, like, it looking at it, but not, like... Not touching not it? Not touching it. Like this <laughs> table? Sure, that works. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> You're just a little badger. Um, so, yeah, there's a bunch of little paper dragons, and then one giant paper dragon. Oh, goody. Well, fuck. Um, well, this is some bullshit. What's your initiative, darling? Oh, well, fuck, I forgot about it. I was really bad when I lost it. No, it was a nine. I'm sorry. Okay. I, now I remember to roll the shit. Badger? Uh, 15. Zeke? 11. Okay. Big dragon. Hi. Well, well, fuck. All right. Okay, so it is reaching in to bite you. Okay. Fucking <laughs> buy dice. You didn't need that one. Right? <laughs> that was great. Okay, I have others. Okay, that is a seventeen. Yeah, it's gonna hit. No matter, basically, no matter what happens. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, no. I'm going to use my second chance feat. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to hold off on that. I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, oh, dear. Okay. Hmm. Kamala. Made good choices. Oh, so, internet. it. Hmm. I look forward to my eventual death. So, it, um, launches in and chomps in on you and at first you're like oh it's paper this isn't going to hurt and then you take 12 points of damage <laughs> um as the uh the paper teeth are surprisingly sharp um, cool considering prison inmates make uh shivs out of paper yeah yeah, yeah. i look forward to ophelia's death in this encounter all right Badger. So anybody got a source of fire that's, you know, actually heat producing? Because mine is not. Um... Um... So I'm right next to one of these fuckers. 
Cheers. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, is this a bonus or is it an action cast? Yeah, it, it maxed out its damage. It rolled double sixes. <laughs> I look forward to Ophelia's eventual death. I think for the moment I will just cast Shillelagh on my uh, staff. And oh. I will, um... Play ball? On the one I'm right next to me. Okay. So, Shillelagh... Uh, where's my freaking... So... Nope, not what I wanted you to do. So it's a DC plus six, and then one D4. Okay, so... Your dice, by the way, is on the other side. Um, that is a... 21 to hit? Yes. <laughs> no! Okay, I didn't need it. What? It's fine. Where'd it go? Oh gosh, it went far. Yeah, I just tossed my D8 over there under the couch. Apparently, we're just throwing dice nice, today. Nice, nice, nice. Max damage of 12. No. Okay. Yes, 12. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so you swing it and you splatter the paper dragon. You hit it, and it just sort of goes limp and turns back into paper and flutters back to the ground. Okay, well, the little ones are easy! Alright, now it's the little one's turn, and Zeke, you're on deck. Okie dokie. Um, let's see where everybody is. Okay. So <laughs> I just yeah, flip you just this one. Squishied him. Okay. So here he comes for you. So shy. Excuse you. <laughs> Alright, so Badger and Zeke, you two are getting attacked by the little ones. Okay. Um, Badger. Will a 15 hit you? Yes, that will hit. Okay. You take three points of damage. Oh, Zeke, it completely whiffs and okay. misses you. Um, it's like a strange breeze or something catches it while it's trying to dive bomb you, and it's just like, um, can't quite get to you. Mm. All right, and now Zeke, it is your turn. I will punch the one that is in front of me. Okay. Uh, let's see here. 25. Alright, yeah. Okay. Uh, that is max 11 points of damage. Okay, so yeah, you slam your fist into it, and it's, it's basically like you punch it out of the shape that it was in. Mm -hmm. So it, suddenly you're punching a flat piece of paper, and it just drifts to the ground. Okay. Um, so that one is dead. All right, now, Ophelia. Uh, well, I would also oh, yeah. like to move towards the big one. Okay. Which I will take. You're going to be sorry and SOL here in a moment. Why don't you go sit between us, darling? No, there's blankets to be had. There's also really sunbeams that you can go lay in, which yeah. be equally as well. All right, Ophelia, your turn, and Badger, you're on deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First of all, ow! I'm going to cast Hex on the... Uh, Big one. The big one. Okay. At his haxed. Okay. Bonus action. All right. Now I'm going to do um, Eldritch Blast because that's a cantrip. Actually, no. I'm going to do Witch Bolt. I've changed my mind. No, you're fired. <coughs> um, dirty twenty. Yep. Me. Seven. Did you add your hex damage? I am adding okay. my hex damage right now. Seven. Uh, it takes 12 damage. Okay. Good hit. So you blast into it, and it 
as you hit it, it sort of scatters mm-hmm. and then reforms. Yay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Alrighty, so top of the round. Oh, I lied, it's not you yet, Badger. Big Dragon, then you. Alright, so Big Dragon is attacking you again. Cool, I look forward to my eventual death. That hits. Yep. I rolled a 19. Yep. Um. Let's do the one dice attack. No, let's do the two dice attack. Let's kill Ophelia immediately. No, we probably didn't. Um, so that's 11 slashing damage. As uh, surprisingly sharp little paper claws slash into paper you. Cards. Cool. I look forward to Ophelia's death. Alright. Now it's your turn, Badger. Alright. I shift right <laughs> here. Okay. And then I cast a Sonder Wave right here. Okay, and you get those two. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, so they need to make a con save. Did they click the front claw? Um, we got a few of them, not all They of them. do not make their con save. Okay. They, I rolled a two. So they take. And my other D8 ran away, so. <laughs> oh, wait, that's right, I have that D8. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 so. I think that's enough to blow them up. Yeah. So, yeah, they take 12 damage, and then they are pushed 10 feet away from me if okay. they survive. No, they do not. So, yeah, as your as your thunder wave slams oof, into them, they, they just sort of flop into paper and float gently to the ground, but um, drifting pretty far away from you with the mm-hmm. blast of thunder wave. <laughs> carried, on, carried on the breeze of the thunder wave. What happens when an origami dragon gets hit with a hurricane? <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> essentially what just happened here. Um, are there any more little guys on the field? That's all of the ones that okay. I am aware of. Okay. I think so. I think that's all of them. Alright, Zeke, then your turn. Punchy Punchy. Alright, Punchy Punchy the Big Dragon. Alright, and let's see here. What's the, immediately after you take your attack action? Oh, your turn. You can spin it. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to go for full on uh, flurry of blows here. Okay, and Ophelia, you're next. Oh. I look me. forward to my eventual death. Okay. Uh, 18 hits? Yes. Okay, so that's two hits, because the first one was a 19, and that one's higher, so that's three hits. Okay. Roll that damage. Meh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 10, 20, 25. Nice! Good hit. So yeah, again, you sort of punch it, and as you're hitting it, it sort of, it scatters, and then reforms. Um... So it's slightly, the papers are bent, and it's not quite a solid dragon shape anymore. Um, it's looking like it's holding, it's having trouble holding its form together. Mm-hmm. All right, is that it for your turn? That is pretty much everything I can do. Okay. Ophelia. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah, bolt? Okay, roll it again. Don't forget hex. Anybody got an eraser? 17. Where is my... 21. Alright, how would you like to do this? Uh, it's just going to explode. Okay. So you blast it with a uh, witch bolt and it just is yeah. like a confetti bomb. That thing right there? Goes off. the pink thing. Um, so you have now shreds of paper floating everywhere in the air um, in front of you. I know I've just destroyed some valuable research, but I don't care <laughs> at the moment. And Ophelia is going to lie down on the floor. <laughs> And you you okay really. there, buddy? No, I am not okay right now. I cast Cure Wounds at second level. So that's 2d8 plus 4. <coughs> that's 15 HP you get back. Man, that's pretty dang good. No, not 155. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that would be a really impressive... Impressive heal. That would be supercharged. <laughs> Level nine. <laughs> I won't be there for a while yet. Quite a while, I imagine. Okay, so yeah, as you uh, are laying on the ground, sort of going ow, my most of me, Badger comes over and boops you. I'm still not moving. That's fine. <clears throat> so what what happened that triggered that thing? 
I touched something. Oh. Don't touch anything. I said don't drink anything. <laughs> you know what? That's it. Ophelia's gonna get up and walk out of the room. <laughs> She's literally leaving the room. She's done. Okay, so as you actually are um, leaving the room, and are you heading back up the stairs? Or are you yep. Just, okay. I'm going so back as outside. you're heading up the stairs, you um, you hear this this sort of slow thump, thump noise, um, and eventually you run into Muriel very carefully, trying to make her way down the stairs. Muriel, darling, why are you coming down the stairs? I just want to know what happened to Daisy. Is she in her she wheelchair? She's in her chair, and very carefully and delicately. She's rolled very well for doing this so far. Um, she has not rolled below an 18 thus far. Okay. So, she's doing real good getting down the stairs. What's that noise? I come over to the... <laughs> yeah, at this point, at the point that Ophelia is sort of like... What? 5,000% on. Um, yeah, Zeke doesn't hear it. Okay. So, yeah, you... Um, but yeah, you, you bump into Muriel. She's probably about halfway oh, down by trying. now. So yeah, you, you hear this this weird thump, thump noise from the staircase, Badger. Come on over. What's up over here? Well, I'll let Muriel explain it. Wait, what? Hi. You fucking heard me. What are you doing? You should have just told me. I would have carted you down here. I didn't want to bother you all. And... Well, good news. We destroyed whatever was down there, so have fun. What was down here? It was a dragon of paper. Oh, you what? heard me. A dragon made of paper. <sighs> I touched something and I activated a trap and the dragon came and tried to kill me. Uh, I'm going the, back upstairs. Hold her, hold her thing. And She's me. doing fine by herself thus uh, far. Daisy did like work on me. Do, do you want me to turn into a mule? And that way you can just kind of sit and be steady. Yeah. Is that... Would the spiral staircase allow for a mule? That seems... It would be a little... Not it's a... Just because cows can go upstairs doesn't mean they can also <laughs> go downstairs. Uh, mules are different, thank you. Just because mules can go upstairs does not mean they can necessarily go downstairs as well. Oh, Kamala's so happy. I'm glad one of us is fucking happy. Because she's got a lap and a sunbeam. Mm -hmm. Where's that mule? So Where's you might want to turn off that light. You're it's a medium beast. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's probably a little awkward and it's going to be a lot slower than, like, you walking. Um, just because the turns are a little bit weird for a four-legged creature to do. Mm -hmm. But you can you can do it, it just will take you a little bit longer. Yeah, I'll just help her down and make sure she doesn't fall. Okay. I'll just stand in front of her and be like, I gotcha. <laughs> I got not going anywhere. Ophelia's going outside. Okay. She's done. She's 5,000% done. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's a good thing you're there, because uh, Mur Muriel, immediately upon having an audience, is suddenly struggling um, with the stairs. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> um, make just a, you know, make a general dex. Really dex or strength, take a pick. Yeah. Okay, dex is better. That's <laughs> why so I wasn't making you do a strength check. <laughs> that's not that's not bad. That, uh, general dex check is a 13. Okay, so you, um, like, as she's going over the next few stairs, she, she kind of loses control of the chair for a moment, um, and it, it topples probably two or three stairs down very quickly before you manage to kind of, like, figure out a way to stop it, um, before it just, like, flips over and careens on down. So Zeke finally rolled above a two, uh, so I'm going to assume that he hears yeah. the... <laughs> yeah, at this point um, you hear a... Kuh, 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 um, and probably Badger, like... Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Goes and uh, upon seeing what's happening, just just help her down. Yep. <laughs> Basically, Zeke will go go around, and grab like the back of the chair, and between like the two of us, we can just okay. Kind of yeah, I'll say between the two of you that you're able to get it fairly well. You you've handled the chair enough that you are. I'll say you're proficient in it at no. this point. <laughs> I'm the DM and I can't. <laughs> um, so you guys head back down with Muriel, um, and she sort of wheels around in the lab trying to see where if there's anything worth saving, worth keeping, anything like that. Zeke will go back to where he originally was trying to go okay. to open yeah, <coughs> the door into this back room. Okay. Um, let's see, is this a concentration check? Uh, yeah, it is. Um... Ophelia, darling, hmm. would you like to be looking for anything or doing anything above ground? No, she's trying to calm herself down from being angry. <laughs> um, 
Roll a, roll a, just a general like wisdom or charisma check and see if you are able to soothe, self-soothe. I guess that would be wisdom. Yeah, I think probably more wisdom than charisma because you're not looking in the mirror like the Sims. Well, nine. Okay. You're not feeling worse, but you're not feeling better. Um, I will actually go over to Muriel and touch her shoulder and I will cast um, Enhance Ability um, and I will give her um, Fox Cunning, which has gives her advantage on intelligence checks while she's down here. Okay, cool. Right. Um, so as you are approaching the door, um, the door actually opens from the other side. Yeah. Okay. And um, this, this strange creature starts rushes out and doesn't really seem to notice you, basically plows right past you and starts trying to gather up the papers that were once the dragons. I will attempt to make a grapple check. Okay. Seventeen? Okay, um, the creature just gets out of your grasp again, nineteen. Okay. Um, so you sort of, you kind of get a hold of him for a second, but they, their movements are very erratic and strange, so you kind of, they're not where you think they should be as you try and hold on to them. Um, so they, they slide past you, and it's, it is, it's a humanoid shape, and as you're trying to grab hold of them, you, you see, like, elf-ish ears, but you can't really tell what it, what it is, if it's, it, what its gender is, what its race is, it's got this strange sort of black and gray, like, almost tar-like skin, and um, in the center of its face, you see just one one giant eye, um, and it, it completely basically ignores you to, to scramble on hands and knees onto the ground to start gathering up the paper. Uh, Muriel? And, okay, so, so um, Muriel wheels over when she hears you, uh, wow. What was your friend's name again? And as, um, yeah, oh, she has, oh, she's got that fox thing now, too. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, um, so Muriel comes around the corner and um, looks at you and then looks at the creature, and then um, she just sort of says, Daisy? And that's where we're going to end today. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's today's session. We went where... I'm trying to keep get back to doing a, like an hour to an hour and a half ish, um, so I'm gonna try and move a little bit quickly with these now. Yay! But yeah, I had I, I was amused by the giant paper dragons. They were they amused me endlessly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Susie. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's today's game. Um, they have now potentially discovered Daisy? Question mark. Daisy. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so that's where we're going to end today. And, uh, yeah, again, Wednesday, we're not doing DM chats. We will be doing a, um, like a, probably some sort of Jackbox game night for Halloween. Um, we'll probably wear costumes of some sort or some sort of something that's theme appropriate because reasons. Question mark. Or just weird shirts. Um, you know, like Batman cat. Batman cat. Um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then, and that's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, Halloween! Yay! Ooh. I love that. All of you did that. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Um, and then Saturday we'll be doing our Extra Life charity stream. Um, so yeah, come and check out and play with us. Play with us! No. Done. <laughs> um, and then we'll be back next week at 10 a.m. again on Sunday. Um, for the continuation of River of Terry Cell, where we maybe learn a little bit more about Daisy or see what happens. Maybe Ophelia will throw herself off. Yep, hopefully me. Ophelia will have calmed down and rejoined the group. Mm. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to end for today. And um, thanks everybody for for tuning in and happy Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your, your day. And yeah. Bye. 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 bye.